How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee Boxing, and we're back with another banger. So please smash the hell out of that like button, you guys, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm gonna talk about Brandon Figueroa, the younger brother of Omar Figueroa. Um, just, just pretty much. Destroying, you know, Miguel Flores like I said he was going to do, okay? I said that in the stream. I said I think he was going to knock him out. And, uh, you know, I think he was going to send a message. And he did. And I feel, I feel, I feel awesome getting these picks right, you guys. Because a lot of people don't understand boxing. And a lot of people don't understand, you know, the nature of the business. And, dude, I, dude, I, I knew Brandon Figueroa, dude. You know, the apple don't fall off the tree, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, Omar Figueroa has very, very good power, and uh, I truly feel like his brother at 122 is going to look be like a little baby dynamite at that division, um, obviously that division, you know, you got, uh, you know, you got the like, you know, that's the division, I believe, that's one, that's one division higher than a new league at 118, so, you know, 122 is just open right now, you know, it's open for the, you know, Open kind of for the young guns to take over. Brandon Figueroa is a young, up and coming prospect, and I think he just he's just solidified himself um, into that position to be a contender now. Um, you know, Brandon, you know, that fight was at 122. He just scored two knockdowns and uh, pretty much stopped. You know, excuse me, Mo Mo. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it is Miguel Flores or Mo Moses Flores, whichever. Pretty much, he got, you know, he got knocked down uh, twice. He got wound up getting stopped in the third round. Moses Flores, a.k.a. Chucky. Um, and this puts, uh, this puts Brandon Flores, this puts uh, Brandon Figueroa, Omar Figueroa's younger brother, in a different category now. You know, he was a contender. I mean, he was a uh, prospect. Now he's a contender. You know, he's a straight-up bona fide contender now. He's at that number one Mando spot for Daniel Roman's WBA title. And, uh, you know, that's a respected title, you guys. That's a title that, you know, a lot of champions have, have held. So, uh, you know, I, I truly, like, I got this right. I got this pick right. I, I truly thought that Brandon Figueroa was going to win. Not only was he going to win, he's going to stop him. I said that in an earlier, uh, in an earlier, um, live stream, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Brandon Figueroa is the next, you know, is the next big thing at 122, or do you guys think he has a lot to work on? I truly think he's ready to go. I think he beats the, the I think he, I think him versus Daniel Mar Roman is a really, really good fight, but I think he gives the business to Daniel Roman. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know a lot of guys don't know a lot about Brandon Figueroa. I've been following him since pretty much his pro debut. And uh, I always knew that, you know, he was at, he was waiting in the rat, and you know, he's pretty much wait, waiting in the shadows of Omar Figueroa, man. And I think this puts him, I think this is starting to break him out of that shadow of the Omar Figueroa little brother. You know, he's starting to make a name for himself, and um, I just can't wait to see what he does, you know, in 2019. So hopefully he gets that title shot. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm ready to go live for the Caleb Plant versus uh, who's got the key? I got Caleb Plant winning. Um, by unanimous decision, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Please like and subscribe until next time, you guys. Peace.